He was a player who would practice by himself. It's one of the ways that we first connected when he uh, came to my school, because I was already there when he got there. But he's a guy who will go to the gym and practice on his own. And we connected because of that, because he saw that I would do it. I saw that he would do it. I said, okay, here's somebody who's serious about basketball. They're not just playing because they're at school and they happen to be on the basketball team. And there were a couple other guys. And when I say a couple, I literally mean a couple. I told you I can count them on one hand. It's only five fingers. All right. Only a couple other guys who I would ever see in the gym practice by themselves in an attempt to just make themselves better just because they wanted to. Now, there are players who will come and practice if I said to them or uh, one of my other teammates who was serious about working out, let's say uh, Wes Pfeiffer or myself, would say to one of our other teammates, hey, we're going to go to the gym and work out. Just our us. Come to come do this workout with us. Yeah, any of our teammates, if we ask them or they'll try to uh, influence them to come to the gym and work out with us, they would do it. But would they do that if we weren't asking them to do it or we weren't telling them that that's what we were going to do? No, they wouldn't do it. Because, again, their actions correlated to where they saw themselves going. And where they saw themselves going was after college, nowhere when it came to basketball. Now, I'm sure all of them, most of the guys I played with in college, I'm sure they're very successful professionals at something in life, but it wasn't going to be basketball because they just didn't have the ambition 